Lauren Miller, and I'm a personal trainer at Fitness Options Personal Training Studio in South Burlington, Vermont. We offer personalized training, small group fitness classes, as well as massage therapy. Today we'll be focusing on workout recovery as well as some stretches. The post-workout period is very critical for recovery. Today we'll be looking at some products that help facilitate that recovery process as well as help you prepare for your next workout. These layered lean bars come in Girl Scout cookie flavors and are great for a snack on the go or as a meal replacement. This whey bollock performance protein powder can be used before or after a workout. It helps with muscle growth and recovery. It can be used as a smoothie or a shaker. This Ninja Blender is great for making smoothies. It can also be used to make soups and salsas. We'll be using this to make a smoothie with our protein powder, bananas, and some milk. First, I'm gonna remove the lid from the smoothie blender. And then I'm gonna add the protein powder. And then the banana. And then I'm gonna add some milk. Then I'm going to put the lid back on, make sure it's sealed, turn the power on, and then click smoothie. Turn that off, I'll unhook the blender, open the pouring lid, and I'll put it into my shaker. Now we're going to do some stretches that focus on your back, your glutes, and your quads. Stretching is a great way to improve your mobility and reduce the risk of injury. We are going to be using this foam roller and this yoga mat, both available at Target. First, we'll foam roll our quads. In order to foam roll your quads, start from a kneeling position. Bring your thighs onto the foam roller and bring your hands onto the mat. Walk your hands forward and come to your forearms. Shift your weight forward and back in order to foam roll your entire thigh. If a spot feels tender, hold that spot and take a couple of deep breaths. Next, we will be foam rolling the glutes. Start by sitting on the foam roller. Bring your hands behind you and then bring your right ankle just above your left knee. Bring your weight into your left glute and roll forward and back, covering the entire muscle. To switch sides, bring your left ankle above your right knee and bring your weight into your left glute. Roll forward and back just as you did on the other side. Next, we'll be foam rolling the back. In order to foam roll your back, begin with the foam roller behind you. Lean back onto the foam roller, bringing it to your shoulder blades. Bring your hands behind your head and allow your head to tip back. Lift your hips. Next, roll forward and back, rolling out the upper third of your back. Roll onto your left shoulder blade to focus on the left side of your back. Roll onto the right shoulder blade to focus on the right side of your back. Thank you so much for watching. All the products featured here today can be found at the University Mall. If you would like to learn more about personal training or some of the other services we offer here at Fitness Options, you can visit us at fitnessoptionsvt.com.